Alright guys, so today we're going to be talking about PvP, my feelings on PvP. I made a post roughly like two weeks ago now, if not it's been longer, but time just passes by so fast. So I wanted to really get to this, to this video idea because I've been playing a lot more PvP recently to unlock the God Roll Better Devils. Yeah, it reminded me why I hate it this version of pvp make sure to leave a like subscribe share and comment as it does help the channel grow immensely guys you guys are very very much a great and the only reason kind of i can upload these videos because i like that they get you know views and then that leads to comments and then i get to talk to you guys and discuss and argue at times but i love interacting with you guys so yeah just make sure to leave a comment guys i'm always down to talk so so the first topic i want to talk about is heavy heavy should not be in the first minute of the game it should not be in the game i i, I personally would love pvp a lot more if there there was no heavy in the first place but i get that they want you to be able to use your heavy so they still you know have crates and stuff like that i just don't agree with it being in the first minute of the game i only believe it should be one drop of heavy for both teams in the middle of the game once one team reaches the halfway point both teams in their spawn get a heavy crate everyone can pull it and then you guys for that duration slay out with heavy and then after that you go back to normal no one needs heavy at the start of the game and then it because it leads into a snowball effect and i don't like that because most of the time when you play against smart players they can snowball a lead and by the next time heavy comes some people still have heavy so you have to deal with heavy on heavy on heavy and that just sucks to play against that's a that's one of the most unfun like one of the most fun draining aspects of pvp at the moment at least for me you guys may love the heavy spam i don't all right so moving on to the next topic and i'm pretty sure that this one is getting a change so i don't really need to talk about this too much but hunters are broken and not in the oh you can't play against them they're unwinnable like you can't beat them no 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 no. they are broken in the sense of they make the game so drainingly slow i don't want to play against a clone that diverts attention and then you also have the invis as well and then you have the smoke bombs as well like it's just too much i will simply put it is too much i am not a boomer but boy oh boy that is too much stuff going on in one point in your screen and then if you have like six hunters spamming that you are in for one of the worst gaming experiences in all of history one of the worst gaming experiences in all of history i had to repeat that twice because that is how bad it is and how dumb it feels to go against like if you face more than three you may as well just leave that game I'm never a fan, I'm ne I never recommended leaving games, but honestly, it will be the most unfun experience in your life and you shouldn't have to play that out. Play a different game mode or play something else. Don't play through that, that actually sucks. Hopefully they are banning, or not banning it, <laughs> that's extreme, but hopefully they are nerfing it because it does need a nerf. So I know a majority of you guys have never seen the post. I will post it right here. So you can see that I had four topics, hunters, TTK, maps, heavy. We're gonna be eliminating the TTK. The TTK feels weirdly fine. Now, after playing a, a bit more PvP, the TTK feels decently rewarding at times. I don't know how to put it. It feels, it still feels weird. <laughs> Trust me, it still feels, still feels weird, honestly. But it's not the worst thing ever. If you get what I mean. I, I, maybe using like auto rifles, yes, it does feel kind of terrible at times. But hand cannons, uh, hand cannons, I can get down with. I actually like it for hand cannons and scout rifles. I just don't like it for auto rifles. So maybe that's something that they need to fix or change. Just make it a little bit easier on auto rifles, especially not the meta auto rifles. Because if you're not running a meta auto rifle like a uh, Kvostov, you're probably going to get outgunned by everything else because of P carring having a huge, huge advantage in the game. But enough rambling about TTK. Let's get down to this final point, which would be the maps. The maps still feel like they are not built for this game. Characters move too fast and take too much space up very, very quickly. Uh, it allows for, you have too many opportunities to hide once you engage. And yeah, that's cool and all. But when you have a drawn out fight, especially against a hunter spamming those abilities, it becomes very very aggravating very very quickly i'm using the word very a lot right now because i'm very very angry at the state of pvp especially when we had the 30th anniversary we had pvp kind of before uh the april update like before prismatic was in this game the game's pvp felt fine i liked it i was a fan of it but after prismatic everything just feels way too spammy and pvp maps being the size that they are adds to that because it feels like you are always in a chaotic cluster of just a 
ability spam. There's nowhere to run because you're always in some sort of ability hold. I hate that. We've hate we hated it during Stasis Prime and release. We hated it during Strands release because it just makes the map feel so congested and small. These maps are huge at times, especially like and it doesn't bother me on 3v3. Like I said earlier, it doesn't bother me on 3v3. It is merely a 6v6 thing because it's not built for 12 people all spamming these abilities at once. I promise you, if you give us a 4v4 or 5v5, it would feel dramatically better. It just doesn't work out for 6v6 because it's too many people. Maybe if you made the all the maps like Cathedral of Dusk size, uh, Frontier size, if you remember from Destiny 1, yeah, it would it could work. It'd be pretty fun to get a huge PvP map again. It would I it would be lovely. But right now, these maps are not built for 6v6. Great for 3v3, great for Rumble, not for 6v6. So guys, as I said before, if you have anything to say, comment it. I will respond and I will be ready for any discourse. I'm ready to put my boxing gloves on, get into the comment section and battle everyone on each of these topics, whatever you want to argue about, I'm down for it. So as always guys, thanks for watching the video. Hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, share and comment. I do want to get more of these commentary videos out because I love talking. If you haven't known already, I love talking. I do want to come back with some streams lately sometime. It may not purely be, de be Destiny streams. It may be Yu-Gi-Oh! It may be Dragon Ball Fighters or Sparking Zero when it comes out. It may be Fighting Z or Dragon Ball Fighter Z. It could be other things. Valorant maybe. I don't know, but <laughs> as always, thanks for watching guys. Love you guys. Peace.